In this video, we will add logic to React to user actions. The logic canvas can be opened at the bottom of the page, and there is a separate canvas for each UI element, including the page. On the left are all the flow functions that you can add. More are available from the marketplace. In our app, there are five user actions that need some logic. First, every time the user clicks new task, we want to set some of our variables. So we select the button to see its logic canvas and add flow functions for setting page variables, making show create task to true and clearing the new task title, which clears the input box. We connect the flow functions to create the flow we want. Second, if the user clicks cancel, we want to hide those components and show the new task button again. So we will put the variable show create task back to false. Third, if the user clicks create task, we want to create a new record and also hide the new task components. First, we'll use an if flow function to check if the input is empty. If it is, we'll simply alert the user and do nothing. Otherwise, we will create a new task record, specifying in the data object to use the title in our variable. Then we will hide the new task components by setting the page variable. And we will fetch the entire list of tasks again using the event we created earlier. Fourth, if the user clicks the checkbox for one of the tasks, we want to indicate it was completed. So we will update that record setting the record to be changed to the current ID and setting the new completed field to the opposite of what it was. And fifth, when someone clicks on the X, we will delete the record. We drag a delete record flow function, setting the ID to the current ID and the data resource to our to-dos list. Then we refetch the to-do list with our custom event.